Welcome to my channel, y'all. I am Michelle, and today I am going to show you how to do this rotating wheel effect with a little pop out on the side. And yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to make some cool stuff. So let's go and let's do it. To make this frame, I had to use PowerPoint with Canva to make this frame. So for you guys, there will be a free template down in the description. So this is what you're going to receive. And all you need to do is go here and trash it. Trash it. Change your background. Make it whatever you want to do. So the first thing we want to do is not group this together. We just want to highlight it and move it to the center. And then you want to get your photos together. So you want to go in and get all the photos you're going to use for this. So let's see what I used before. And we're just going to plop those in there somewhere. So, and if you want them on a different angle, of course, you can go in here and move them around like so and put them on whatever angle that you want them to be on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lace these in here. We want to see her face. So I want to go and put her up like so. I'm gonna go back to photos. Go here, move her down for her face. And then these two can go here. And sometimes they don't grab. So if they don't grab, just make them smaller. And most of the time they will grab once they do that. And then what's next? We go grab these, which are grab this one and put it in here like so. And say I want it the other way, I'll just like do it and move it and make it a little bit smaller and put their face in there. And if you need it the other way, depending on how you're going to pop them out, you know, just move it to whatever angle you want it to be when it pops out on the side. But we're just doing this for demo purposes. So we'll just do that like so. Um, we'll put him in here. And when he pops out, we want him the other way. So we'll just take him like so and put him in this way and shorten him up a little bit. So we're just going to go through and do those. Let's see what other pictures we got over here in this little area here and pop those into a frame. Double click it. Come on. So if you notice, if you see another square, another piece that's behind these, so like if you see me, these are grouped together. And the reason is you see this piece right here, there's a reason there. There's a transparent one right here. You don't want it, you're not gonna use it and you're not gonna see it. The reason why is Canva does not let you use this white space. So if you wanna keep your circle intact, you have to have something touching the actual page. Otherwise, once you move it off the page, it's gonna disappear. So we need to have that. So I have something touching this page when I move the half of the circle off. So that's why you'll notice it. if you'll see there's a little square here. So I'll have something on the page when I move that part of the circle off. So, but we're just doing this piece right here. And what is the other picture that this one is right here of them together? And that is my circle. And then what do you wanna do is you wanna take it here. We are not grouping. We're just doing this to move it. So if you want to make it bigger, what you're going to do here. And if you're interested in how I did that, if you have PowerPoint, how I created these frames, leave it in the comment and I'll, and I'll make a tutorial on how I created this particular frame. Um, but if not, there's plenty out there on how to create these with PowerPoint. It's very, very simple, honestly. So, and then you want to line them up how you want them to go what size, how you want them, and then you're going to do space them. It's very important not to take it too far off the page. You want to make sure that each of the triangles that go, or squares, that goes with each of these frames is touching the page. If it doesn't touch the page, it's going to disappear. So you're going to lose part of your circle. So you don't want to do that. That's why all these invisible ones are right here. So you have something that's actually touching the page. So now once you have that set, I have all my photos. What I'm going to do now is I am going to duplicate the page. And then if I want to, and then I want to spin. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything again. I'm going to spin it. 
to where I want to go first. And then I am going to duplicate that page and say I want to pull this one out. I should have went a little bit higher, but this is for demonstration purposes, so it's okay. And then you're going to do it out and spin it whatever way you want to. So if you want to spin it this way, you want to keep it out like center, you can do whatever you want to do as far as having that photo out. You can spin it, you can keep it in track if you want to line it up with that and just have it coming out sideways. That's up to you. You're the design technique with that. And then the easy part for right now, because I want her to go back in her hole, right? So I'm going to take the one where the circle is whole and I'm going to duplicate that page here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to slide it behind like so. So when I slide it behind, if you watch the, the transition, so we'll watch what we got right now. So we have this, we have the spin, we have the piece coming out, we have it going back into its hole, right? So next you want to do for your next one is you want to duplicate the page again. You want to highlight everybody, highlight everybody. And then you want to spin to the next one you want to go to. So say it's her. All right, we're going to do her a little more even. So she comes straight out. So then you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to, you're going to go and duplicate the page like so. You're going to pull her out. You're going to enlarge her like so. And then when you go, you're going to duplicate the one in front of it, which is the whole circle. You're going to duplicate that page and then put it behind that page and that'll have her come back in. So to make these things move, you're going to want to make sure you have a transition called match and move in between each one of them. There should be some match and move already attached to your first one with the template. But if it is not, all you're going to do is put your transition, go to match and move, and I turn it all the way up as far as seconds. The other thing you want to do, like when you're done, if you want to slower the ones your pop outs, you want them to kind of stay out longer. You want to, you can expand your time just in case you want to put anything else around it, like words or anything like that and, and, and jazz it up. But that's how you do that and keep your little matching moves in between them. And that's how you do that technique. And you're going to spin. She's going to come out. And then you go back to the original spot. And then you keep just doing that all the way around. So the other thing I did at the end, if you want to see that, is if you saw the end at the beginning of the video, we're going to grab all of these together. We're going to bring our circle back out. So what I did with that, so now I have a whole circle, right? So I duplicated the page. Let's go like that. Let's duplicate the page. And then I highlighted it. And then I spun on it. So when you do that and the transition is, you can just see it, it just spins. And then what I did is I duplicated the first page, duplicated the first page, and then I put it behind like so. So that gave you that little wishy-washy kind of effect with that. So that goes in, that goes out, that goes in, that goes out, and it kind of gives you like a little breathe thing. And the other thing was, of course, just pulling them off the page. Always keep that little corner on the page. And then uh, so you could do you could do this is pulling them off the page like so. Let's go. Let's pull them off the page like so. Keep that little keep that purple in there now. Keep that little purple corner in there. If you got to twist it a little bit to get the whole photo off, twist it a little bit. Keep that purple on there so you don't lose those photos. So we go out, we go out like so, we go out like so, we go out like so, go out like so. And if you see from this one to this one, we're going to go and we're going to blow. And then what you want to do with your whole circle is duplicate that page, put it right back in. At the end, so now when they blow apart, they'll come back in, right back into your circle. So that's how you do those little tricks. And I didn't want to do a full circle because it's just the same repeat process over and over again, how many you want in your circle. 
and it's a pretty fun little easy activity to do especially once you have your template easy peasy lemon squeezy and that's how you do that i love you guys if you have any questions of course leave them in the comments if you have like question questions and you're on my facebook please dm me anytime you know if you've dealt with me before you know i'm there with you we're going in the trenches we'll get it taken care of and i love you guys and i will see you on the next one